hello guys this is Jules again and right now I just want to make a very short video uh, trying to show you uh, why I think that sometimes some users are being um, kind of paranoid about some uh, aspects of the calibration and mostly because uh, I believe that some people are spending way too much time and uh, trying to find a perfect level for their their typhoons uh, looking for very specific uh, tools to get a very precise leveling to calibrate either the accelerometer or the compass uh, another thing is that uh, I've noticed that it's not really that important to be uh, far from your phone at least in my experience I hope this video doesn't turn out the wrong way that you guys don't think that I'm being uh, pretentious or uh, like a show-off like hey, hey look uh, I don't have any issues that you all other guys might be having but rather so you can better understand what might be going on with your Typhoon H instead of trying to fix it with very uh, useless solutions so here's my H and as you can see I have everything already here I forgot to turn on my ST16 and, and while it boots up I'm gonna show you here maybe it's not that easy to see but this is actually the roof of my parents house so basically number one I, I know the manual says that you are supposed to get away from any buildings uh, or metallic structures just to show you here back here there's a metallic guard a protection for the it, AC and the heating and basically I'm as close as you can be to a building because I'm basically over the house so the second thing is that the roof has obviously a, an a inclination um, just to show you here in case it's hard for you guys to see I have like a marble here which I'm gonna place in the, in the floor and you can see how it's rolling so you can see that is obviously not perfectly leveled and something else that I want to mention is that I always do take into consideration uh, the north, the geographic north, which I know that it's over there, so the typhoon is facing that way. And right now I'm gonna run both the um, compass calibration and the oops and the accelerometer. There we go. Just wait a couple of seconds till it's connected to the remote. So, first of all, I'm gonna run the compass calibration because I recorded yesterday in a very distant location. So, I'm gonna set calibration. Uh, calibration again and compass so I hope I don't get tangled here but I'm gonna run the calibration remember I am facing north at this moment it's one one turn was enough one turn also enough one turn two turns also one two one two three one two okay so it looks like it was a successful calibration for the compass now the next thing is the accelerometer now here's where I've been looking in a lot of places that a lot of people are getting very specific uh, leveling tools to get a perfect level to do the accelerometer calibration in order to get rid of uh, some drifting 
or toilet bowling or whatever problems so right now i'm gonna run the accelerometer calibration again just to show that this is not level at all there's the marble and i'm gonna run the compass calibration ah uh, it wasn't supposed to be the compass uh, well I'm gonna do it again because I pressed the wrong button this one is okay so I always get like a bit pressured because I know there's a time limit to do this until it gets you it gives you the calibration failed color so okay so there's a second compass calibration so now I'm gonna run the uh, accelerometer again I'm just gonna put the marble just to show you that it's not level at all and now accelerometer now we wait and it restarts and now I'm gonna do two things first of all I'm gonna turn it off again to set back my gimbal and camera in place now I'm gonna set the propellers first black ones silver ring okay and there we go so now I'm gonna turn it back on and I already told you that I do take into consideration the uh, geographic north when I'm doing the uh, compass calibration I generally have my phone close just like I'm doing now right now I'm filming with my phone uh, because I can check easily where the where the north is now another thing that I always do is that I wait on my ST16 for at least 18 or 19 satellites on the Typhoon H um, sometimes uh, I'm okay with 17 but ideally I take off when I have 20 satellites so 18 or 19 is okay because once on the air it seems to uh, lock on the remaining satellites fairly quickly so right now we are at 18 sats and 15 on the st16 so now i'm gonna stand up and place the camera somewhere where it will record nicely i'm trying to do this all in a single take so you guys can see that i'm not cutting or editing anything from this process so I hope I don't drop my phone as you can see hopefully you can see I have 18 satellites I'm gonna check that I'm in angle mode turtle speed obstacle avoidance off and I'm gonna try
and there you have it it has some issues like every edge out there with holding its altitude at low heights perhaps because of the turbulence from the motors but as you can see it's not drifting it's not toilet bowling it's flying as it's supposed to fly responding and holding position so just to close up remember that I didn't use a level surface it wasn't completely leveled uh, I did face north when I was calibrating the compass and I didn't um, put my phone away you remember I'm recording this with my phone and it was right behind the edge when I was doing the calibrations so as you can see everything seems to be working just like it was supposed to be so in my very humble opinion you can uh, let you can stop worrying too much about the perfect leveling when you're calibrating the accelerometer and uh, as you saw right there I had a brief orange flash but that's something that happens sometimes when I raise or lower the landing gear but I don't get any video loss or anything so I hope this video was somewhat helpful interesting or whatever I hope you have a nice day see you later okay guys so another thing just happened let me see if I can put the camera so as you can see it's a little bit darker I just gave it a small flight around the block and I just wanted to show you that the altitude is showing a negative 2.9 meters from the point where I took off and also I've seen a lot of people that think that having a ne negative altitude is going to cause trouble to land so maybe this will also help people to know that it has nothing to do at least in my case I even if it shows a negative altitude you will be able to land it perfectly and so if your typhoon is hovering and it refuses to land maybe it has to do with something else but the negative altitude is no problem you can perfectly land lower than you took off so that's another thing that I want to show you right now so I hope you have a great day and a good flight see you later